Okay, so what's up guys? On request, I'm actually going to cover in this video how to actually set up the Sound D21 microcontroller device. Um, how to do actual, how do we actually get the device connected to our IDE and how we use the device. So, the device we'll be using in this series is the Sound D21. Um, devices now these devices usually come in a tray like these and they're actually some D21 G18A devices so when you get it when you get the devices like this it's very hard to use in your breadboard so what we actually do is we use what is known as a adapter this is a t quad flat pack you know we call this configuration of the pins like this t quad flat pack package and what we actually do is we solder the device onto the adapter and then from this adapter um, we are able to actually plug the device into our breadboard so you see it's the same same device after we solder our device we place it in the breadboard now to actually get programs running on the device we use what is known as a programmer this here is the Atmel ICE in circuit debugger okay um, so when setting up the device we will actually have this um, adapter kit connected so the SAM ICE can actually debug both SAM devices and AVR devices. This Atmel ICE can um, debug both SAM and AVR. So we'll actually connect it into the SAM programming port. And you know it's really good to get this, this adapter kit because it actually numbers out each line actually what it does. And each line we have a nice jumper wire that we connect onto the individual pins of the uh, microcontroller that I'll go over in just a bit and the way we actually connect it to our computer is with this USB um, this USB port so after we've connected the power via USB on our SAM device we'll observe that there's this red light that will be visible once everything is connected properly that indicates that we actually have the SAM device connected to our computer. Now if we turn on power to the circuit, you'll observe that this green light will be lit, which indicates that everything is connected properly on the device. So that's basically how you set up the actual circuit. So like I showed you on the debugger, there are specific pins that is on the actual debugger and each pin on the debugger is assigned a number each wire is assigned a number and using the included user's guide for the Atmel ICE we can actually determine which pin on the debugger line matches to which physical pin on the microcontroller device the pins that you'll be using are the serial wire debug data input output, serial wire debug clock, serial wire output, reset, target reference and ground. In case you are wondering how we determine which of these debugger pins actually map to the pins on the device, for that you will have to look at our data sheet. So in our data sheet, we see that there are port functions assigned to each of the devices. For example, if we are looking for the let's say we're looking for the serial wire debug data input output pin, we'll look in our data sheet and we'll see the port function multiplexing for our device. So we have the SAM D21 G device. So to determine where our serial wire debug or serial wire clock pins are right 
we'll actually see that based on this table it will actually be been forty six on our device using our using our table we can determine exactly what pin on device will match up with the actual physical pin on the debugger now let's pretend that we have a project open in our indicative development environment the first thing we need to do is we need to ensure that we have the correct debugger selected so as long as our debugger is selected and we have it powered up what we want to do is we want to select our debugger from the tool interface so it's easy to find in Atmel Studio 7 you simply look at this toolbar here at the top of the ID and once the device is connected once the tool is connected properly it will be shown here and you make sure and select the tool and you select the um, interface for the device now the clock frequency and things like that you don't really interfere with that we have our um, option to select our tool chain now the device option when you're creating the project we have the option to select the device instead of creating a new project each time that you need to have a new application it's better to always get a project that's working and you can modify it from there so provided you are using the Sam the 21 g 18 a device there is no um, there will be no reason for you to change the device but if you need to the option is available but once the device is changed there may be things that will not remain so there we have the option to change the device but we won't you won't change the device another option you have to look at is the tools device programming this is important because it allows us to verify that the device connected is correctly recognized by the tool what we need to do is we need to click the apply button so that we will be able to then read our device signature and once everything is connected properly we will to read our device signature and our target voltage when we need to configure things like our fuses which are things like our oscillator settings and um, wrong out reset watchdog timer we have the option of also using this fuse configuration table and of course our security bits we don't really want to mess with the security bits unless we actually do in production device and we can see our tool information and things like that to actually build our application we click this start with our debugging window here when we click on it provided everything goes well we'll actually be able to see how much program memory and how much data memory is used by the device as well as if our build was successful so let's imagine our build was not successful let's say we're missing a semicolon when we click or start our debugging this little window will come up informing you that you know that the build is not good that there's an error in the build so we click no and then if we correct we can build our program and start it all debugging the Atmel ICE programmer is really faithful and it's very fast don't have any complaints with it I know microchip technology since the acquisition of Atmel they have really been pushing for the ICD4 and the Picket4 programmers 
but the Atma Lies is still a good option for the bugging some devices for the foreseeable future. Microchip has not announced any plans to retire that program as yet. So um, I hope this video was helpful and that it will help you use some of the um, devices, you know, setting up the device and running pre-built projects. Once you are able to get your device set up, then you should be able to open an existing project that I have verified is working. You can get it from my GitHub, I'll link below, and then you can modify the code from there. You can check out my other videos to see how to modify things like clocks and access, you know, special function registers and whatnot. So I hope this video was helpful. If you need more information, um, you can probably email me, contact me, leave a comment below. Be sure to like and share if you want me to do any projects on the SAMD21. Just contact me and I'll try my best. So Ivan, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for contacting me. And guys, be sure to like, share and subscribe.